Is there a way to prevent objects from automatically snapping into a frame or automatically snapping to guides in Canva? Well, there is, and that's the topic for today's 5-Minute Friday. Canva has some auto snapping features, which at times can be very helpful, but at other times they can be annoying and not helpful. And the problem is there is no button to turn off snapping in Canva. So how do we get around this? Well, I got a quick tip for you today that's gonna let you take total control of this so you can prevent that snapping in an instance where you don't want it to happen. Okay, so let's just review how snapping works in Canva. So you can drag guides like this onto screen, these blue guidelines, and then when you get the bounding box of an element close to that as you're moving along, it will automatically snap to that. Not only that, objects will also snap into frames and they will snap to other objects. So let's look at this here by just dragging this around here. So if I drag this element, we can see that blue bounding box. When I get close to that blue line there, it jumps to the blue line. So that's great if I want that to happen, but if I was trying to place something close to that, it might snap to that and not be exactly where I want it. Now, as I move it along, you can also see that it'll snap to the frame, so it'll automatically snap into that frame when it come over top of the frame. And then at other times here, we can see that there are even auto guides here in Canva where it's trying to snap to the center of this square here. It's trying to snap to the center of the screen. So there are all kinds of guides here that will help you know align things by auto snapping it into place but we don't always want that to happen so how do we prevent this as mentioned there is no setting we can use to completely turn snapping off in canva so if i come over to the file menu and i go under settings here i can add guides i can clear guides i can lock guides but there is no option for turning off snapping so we can't just turn it off but there are a few methods we can use to get around this or to prevent it from happening so let's look at what those are so the first is if you have have an object selected here you can also just nudge it with your keyboard controls so the arrow keys will just move it one pixel at a time if you want to nudge it around if you want to move it 10 pixels at a time you can combine those arrow keys with the shift key on your keyboard and then you're nudging something 10 pixels at a time and it's going to stick to those rules of one pixel or 10 pixel depending on whether you're combining the arrow keys with the shift key or not and it's going to stick to those rules one pixel 10 pixel it is not going to snap to any guides so this gets around the snapping by using that technique technique. Now, of course, you also could just move the guideline. So if you hover over a guideline, you will see your cursor change. And when it changes to this icon here, then you can move that guideline along wherever you want. You could zoom in if you want to be even more precise. So I could zoom in just so I could nudge this a little bit more gradually along. And then, of course, I can move and snap to that guide in a new position if I've set that guideline to the position I want. Now, of course, this might not be super practical if you already have guides specifically set up for other spacing in your document, maybe to control the margins in between certain columns so maybe this isn't always the best option well another option is you can just set the absolute position of an object so with the object selected here if you come under the position menu so let me just close it since I have it open if I with an object selected I can come under the position menu here I can go under arrange and then right here you can set the exact uh, X and Y coordinate on the screen so if I just wanted to move this sort of two pixels I could change this from 707 to 709 and we'll see that slight movement here as it adjusts just on screen so you can set the exact position of your object right here under the position menu under that arrange tab just use the xy coordinates right here of course you can also rotate it here so another way to totally control the positioning and you don't have to worry about guides now those are both great but there is one more trick that's even more helpful and what about also objects snapping into frames so snapping into frames and what's that additional trick to really help us out and turn off the snapping so it won't actually snap to guides well let's look at another example on screen here so I have the woman here in the frame, but then I have another copy of this because I want to create sort of a photo pop out where it makes it look like she's popping out of the frame here. Now, if you're not familiar with this technique, I can provide a link up above to a tutorial all about how to do this. But what happens here is if I go and try to slide this over the frame, it's going to snap into the frame and replace the object in the frame. Well, that is not what I want. So how do I get around this? Because I want this object to lay on top of the other object in frame below. Well, the first option is it's only going to happen when your cursor crosses into the frame. So if there's a way for you to sort of click and drag and not cross over that area, then you can actually position it over and it's not going to take the place of what's in the frame. And that actually can be helpful because then it still is snapping to the object below. It's just not snapping into the frame. So having it snap to the position we want, and of course I can drag it up. And if I didn't get the position quite right, of course I could grab it again, making sure I'm just outside of the frame there and then go ahead and drag it into the position that I want and release it. 
And so just like that, you can do it. Now, what about instances where you just want the snapping to be turned off? You don't want it to snap. Well, there is another trick is if I'm dragging this around and then I hold down the control key on my keyboard. So anytime you're dragging around an element and you hold down the control key, that's on Windows, it would be the command key on Mac. Then suddenly when I do that, Watch what happens. I can drag it right over here. It's not going to snap into the frame. I'm not seeing any of those auto guides show up. It's not snapping to these guides up here. So that is the real trick uh, for moving something around and having those snapping features not work. Having those turned off is just holding down that control key as you move something around. So I could drag this around. I could put it in position I want. Not I don't have to worry about whether I'm over the frame or not. And then of course you can release it and then use those arrow keys uh, if you want to move it around even more. So you can use these things in unison, sort of use one technique and then the other technique, combine these together. But that control key modifier really is the key to turning off snapping altogether. So I hope this helps and make sure you take advantage of these tips when you don't want things to snap into frames or snap to guides inside of Canva. Everything I do so instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented. Being negative when you should be getting after it. I got facts over facts over tracks. This and that spitting slow, spitting fast. I could roast, I could gas. Think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past.